Hey, what's going on everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video. And in today's video, I just want to share a short, sweet message, something that I was reflecting on just recently as I was going through a workout. And for me, you know, I love spending time journaling, working out, getting outside because it allows me to, you know, spend time with myself to think and reflect. And that's, you know, some of the, the best moments that you can have aha moments. And Sometimes all it takes is just one new train of thought, one new idea to change the trajectory of your life forever. And one of the things that I realized is you've gotta be extremely careful who you take advice from. Now, I've got, it's interesting because I have a, a lot of friends who they're not very healthy, they don't work out a lot, they don't have a lot of money, they don't have a business, and then I have a whole another set of friends who they're crushing it. Some of them are millionaires. Some of them are in incredible shape, right? Like bona fide hustlers and probably one of the fittest guys that I that I know. These people are super happy. So I've got these two different set of friends. And the truth is, most people think they're right and most people think they have the answer. The folks who have no results, who are living you know, a subpar life in terms of getting results. And it doesn't mean that because someone's not as healthy or doesn't have as much money or aren't you know, on that level in business, it doesn't mean that you can't be friends with them. It doesn't mean that they don't have value, right? A lot of my friends that I spend time with, you know, they might not be the healthiest, they might not be the fittest, they might not have the most money, but I'm friends with them for other reasons because we, you know, we go on adventures together or we've spent a lot of time together over the years or we know each other or there's loyalty or there's trust so we could spend time. There's other value props, right? Other than my other side of friends that are business, entrepreneurs, working out, going crazy all of the time. But the purpose of this video is to share with you who you spend time with is gonna be one of the number one things that, that is gonna dictate who you become as a person. And who you become as a person is derived from what you think, your values, and then ultimately what type of actions you take in your life. So if there's one piece of advice I can give you is be very, very careful who you listen to because everybody thinks they have the answers and everybody thinks that they know the best way to live life. And if you're watching this video or you're, you know, interested in becoming healthier or you're interested in, in, in you know, becoming a better business person or making money or starting an eBay business or a wholesale business, or maybe you want to quit your job, listen to people that are getting results because people like to talk a big game, right? There's a lot of people that I know who are even on YouTube, associates of mine, people that I knew who I used to look at them and I would idolize them. And then I would meet them in real life and I'm like, <laughs> Ain't, ain't, ain't as advertised, right? A lot of people like to talk a big game. Don't just listen to what people say. Look at the results that they're producing. It's so easy to talk a big game. And, you know, yesterday, you know, I was, you know, hanging out with a couple of friends of mine. And, you know, one of these guys is one of my best friends. And I love him to death. But one of one of his friends, and he's he's a slight friend of mine, really got under my skin. And there's this guy who's just, he's always, he's a great guy, but he's always got an answer. He's always got an answer. He thinks he knows everything. He, he knows everything, yet he's broke. He's not very healthy. He doesn't have any results, but he wants to give advice to everybody. Who here, right? Comment down below, who here has a friend who loves to give advice to everybody. They know all the answers. They love to criticize, but they have nothing to show for themselves. You gotta be careful. That's why if you're trying to take your, your life to the next level, take advice from people who have got the results because it's way too easy to come on YouTube just like myself, right? Don't listen to me. See, am I actually producing it? Am I actually living that life? And you know what? That might be a bad example because I'm always in my car uh, making these videos. So, you know, who knows? I might be homeless, right? But a lot of times it comes down to, do the people have the results and what's your gut feeling telling you? A lot of times your gut feeling will tell you, I should listen to this person or I shouldn't listen to that person, right? Do they have the results? Are they healthy or are they 100 pounds overweight? And I'm not here to tell you that someone who's thinner or fatter is a better person. But if you're looking to take your health to the next level, why in the world would you take advice from somebody who's 100 pounds overweight? How many people know somebody who's always giving money advice, right? They always got advice for money. They always got advice for running a business and they don't even run a business. They don't even have any money. They're always complaining and fighting and arguing, trying to figure out how to make ends meet. 
why in the world would you take advice from them, right? So be very careful who you listen to because a lot of people, and this is what one of my buddies was saying yesterday and I completely disagreed with it. A lot of people say, you know what? You wanna lose weight, you wanna build your business, it comes down to discipline. They say the difference between the winners and the losers are the ones who have discipline. And I agree to an extent, but I would say before discipline comes your environment. It's hard to be disciplined if you're hanging out with people who are eating ice cream all the time and drinking beers. Why would you put yourself in that situation? And yesterday, I got set off, and one of my buddies is probably gonna watch this video, and we already had a conversation about this, but I got set off because you know I've been having some issues lately. I'll be honest with you. I've been struggling with kind of like yo-yo dieting and I've been having some issues because I'm living out of a hotel. I'm waiting to move into my house. You know, I moved from Florida back to Connecticut and I've been dealing with some shit behind the scenes and nobody ever wants to admit it. Everyone wants to act like their life is so freaking perfect. I've been struggling in some areas, especially with some mental health, physical health type of stuff. You know, here I am, you know, I'm 178 pounds. It's not like I'm doing poorly, but I don't want to be average and I'm sick and tired of people who are just okay with being average. There's nothing wrong with being average, but if you have a bigger vision for your life, if you wanna be extraordinary, if you wanna, for me, happiness comes from growth. When is Steve Rakin happy? When Steve Rakin's growing. When Steve Rakin's taking 1% forward each uh, 1% forward each and every day. It's not about being the best. I'm not one of those guys who is like living on his ego, like I have to be better than everyone else. I wanna be better than myself the day before. And it pisses me off when people say, you just gotta have discipline. I was upset because I put myself in a bad situation yesterday and I ended up freaking binging out on foods that I didn't want to be eating, right? So I would say the environment that you put yourself in, the people you spend time with is going to be one of the number one indicators of how much money you make, how you feel about yourself, your confidence levels, where you are in your life, your relationships. That's why, you know, I don't know anyone here has ever seen a therapist or you've had coaching. A lot of times it comes down to your childhood because who did you spend time with the most growing up? Your parents. That's why most people become their mom or their dad, right? And that's why I've spent so much time and I had great parents, but that's why I spent so much time going through Tony Robbins and affirmations and dealing with issues and childhood stuff because you become who you spend time with. You do. And again, I wanna preface this by saying it's not about spending time only with people who make X amount of money or only with people who have a certain body. That's a bunch of BS because at the end of the day, it's not about, you know, for me, it's about people you can trust, people you could have fun with, people who, you know, care for you no matter what because there's so many people out there who only wanna spend time with you if they can get something from you. A lot of people have motives and that's why I left Miami because people out there, you know, I, I made a video about this the other day, but be very careful who you spend your time with and be very careful in terms of what environment you you spend your time with them, right? Like some of my friends and, and I, I talked about this with my buddy yesterday, you know, I wanna spend time with them, but I wanna spend time with them in environments that align with our goals. I wanna spend time with them going out bike riding and hiking and doing fun things that we enjoy. I don't wanna spend time with certain people and environments that just make us worse as a person. And over time, yeah, I wanna be the type of person who go out to a restaurant and have a couple beers and eat some drink, uh, eat some good food and whatnot. But when you're struggling, if you're struggling financially or maybe you have some type of addiction or maybe it's even binge eating or yo-yo dieting or anything, and I shared before that I was having some issues, discipline ain't gonna do jack for you in that situation because you're putting yourself in an environment where you're surrounding yourself with that. If you're trying to build a business, if you're trying to you know, build up your eBay store, hanging out with a bunch of friends and family members who say, oh, John, you're stupid for starting a business. That doesn't work. You should go to school and get a job. You think that's gonna help you get your listings up? Heck no, that's not gonna help you get your listings up. Be careful who you spend time with. Down the road, once you build an eBay store with 500 listings and you're making three to $4,000 a month, they're gonna be able to kiss your you know what. And that's what happened with me. You know, seven years ago, people would laugh at me, make jokes. They, they thought I was crazy. Oh, you're selling on eBay? Who sells on eBay? You could have been a radio, uh, x-ray technician. I was gonna do radiology and people just laughed at me. But guess what? They stopped laughing after a couple of years and the same thing will happen with you, right? The same thing will happen with you. People will stop laughing when you show and you, and you can prove yourself. 
And over time, you can get to a place where you could spend time with people who might not be the most positive. You could put yourself in environments and control yourself with discipline when you get to that point. So, you know, I'm rambling right now, just sharing a couple thoughts, but that's one of the things I like to do on this YouTube channel. At the end of the day, yeah, I want more subscribers, but you know what? If you said, Steve, you could have a million subscribers, but you can't be yourself and you got to put on this big fake game, or you could have 150,000 subscribers. Maybe you don't get tons of views, but you could provide value. You could live in terms of, you know, the person you want to be and, you know, live on track with who you are. I would choose that every single day. So just want to share this video. Got some people I want to shout out. Katie Reads, what's going on, Katie? Good to see you. My son, what's going on? Yeah, my son, you know what it's all about. Shozan Hama says, uh, I hope so. I'll fight to the death until I get success. Absolutely. Mr. Jeremy, appreciate it. Leo says, you have to be happy with yourself. Nothing wrong with wanting to improve. Nothing wrong with wanting to improve as a goal. Yeah, the thing is, most people though, unfortunately, they've lied to themselves, right? How many people do you know who, you know they want something better for, them, for their lives, but they're lying to themselves. They're, they're making up excuses because it's easier to make no decision and be comfortable versus having to put yourself on the line and risk it all. Adele says, I'm sorry, I love your YouTube channel and your venting. Hold on, I can't read that. Let me, let me get back. I'm sorry, I love your channel, but you are venting on social media and projecting. You are moving, getting house, making changes. Life is good. Absolutely. Changes be, can be consistent. Yeah, I mean, that's the only guarantee in life. And in business as well, with eBay and Amazon, things are always going to be changing, right? So just wanted to share some uh, tips and whatnot and some things going on with me. And hopefully this adds some value. And with that being said, much love. Talk to you in the next one.